Come on, violins! Single file! No one wants a sloppy string section. Let's go. Come on. And that goes for you, brass. Yes, I'm talking to you. Make it in an orderly fashion, or I'll have a trombone to pick with you. Oh! Yeah, I said it. I said it. And nobody would want that, would we, Woodwinds? <laughs> give me a good salute there, right there, son. Give me a good salute, right? Give me a good salute. Give me a good salute right there, son. Give me a salute, son. Give me a salute. Give me a salute. Give me a salute. That's better. Concert master. Now that he's ready, the entire orchestra is ready to be too. Stewardship. 
caring for our planet. Pandora gives us an opportunity to expand upon that. In the queue at Flight of Passage yesterday, you probably noticed that Alpha Centauri Expeditions has repurposed the former RDA laboratories to help restore wild populations of the Pandoran Ekron, what we refer to as the Mountain Banshee. That attitude, caring for the wild, reflects a philosophy that Disney has brought to life for more than two decades now through the Disney Conservation Fund. The fund, supported by both our guests and our company, provides grants that support wildlife and wild places all over the world. It has contributed more than $65 million to help support 330 nonprofit organizations working in 115 countries. The fund also addresses a central reality that for many key species, habitats are shrinking. Last year, to address this, the fund announced a new program called Reverse the Decline, Increase the Time. This bold global initiative is helping 10 threatened animals through habitat protection and conservation programs around the world. It also provides opportunities for kids and families to experience the magic of nature. And this morning, to celebrate the opening of Pandora and its theme of restoration, I'm pleased to announce that Disney Parks, in company with the actions of our guests, will donate $1 million to support wildlife habitat restoration. We're calling this program Connect to Protect. In it, our guests connect by experiencing adventures within Pandora, the world of Avatar. And when they do, they will unlock contributions from Disney to the fund. Just by opening Facebook Messenger and chatting with our digital Pandora scientists, our guests will unlock a $5 contribution. Completing just one of many interactive conservation-themed missions within Pandora will unlock another $5. Our aim is to contribute $100,000 to help restore habitats in each of 10 animal categories. Best of all, our guests get to vote and help decide the order in which we fund them. With our guest input and our funding, we believe we can fund habitat protection for all 10 animal groups this summer. We'll literally do seven figures worth of good for wildlife, people, and the planet. host many of the talented people who helped bring the world of Avatar film to life here. They included the creator of Avatar, James Cameron, and producer, John Landau. We were also joined by principal members of the cast, Sam Worthington, Zoe Saldana, Sigourney Weaver, and Stephen Lang. By the way, Zoe has a special Disney Parks connection now. Not only did she portray the Navi warrior, Tiri, Avatar, she also plays Gamora, one of the stalwart Guardians of the Galaxy and that popular movie franchise. The new movie, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, is wowing audiences around the world. Zoe is on her way to Disneyland Resort in Anaheim right now to be part of the opening for Disneyland's newest attraction, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. Here are a few words about her visit here this week from Zoe herself. Even though I was a part of this movie and I shot it for eight, nine months of my life, I never really got to walk on Pandora, and this gives us that opportunity. I was really beside myself. I kept going back and forth between like, don't cry, like I'm emotional. It was surreal. I couldn't believe that I was here. I was just excited. I feel very blessed to know that I'm a part of two amazing franchises, and to know that Disney connects these two movies, it just it thrills me beyond belief. To know that I'm hopping on a plane and going straight to Anaheim and opening up Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout thrills me too. I, I mean, I don't know how I'm doing it. I think I'm gonna sleep very well this weekend, but I'm just excited. 
I know the team at Disneyland in California is as excited as we were to host Zoe as they prepare to open their new Guardians of the Galaxy attraction this weekend. Let's take a quick look at what awaits their guests when this attraction, exciting new edition, opens May 27th at Disney California Adventure Theme Park. Sweeping outdoor nighttime entertainment elements 
a minimum of one in each park here at Walt Disney World this summer. Also this summer, right here at Disney's Hollywood Studios, we're excited to welcome some rising Hollywood stars. Among them, guests will have the opportunity to meet Cruz Ramirez, one of the new stars from the upcoming Disney Pixar film Cars 3, which opens nationwide June 16th. At Epcot, our annual International Food and Wine Festival returns later this summer on August 31st. Our guests ask for more, and we will deliver. Food and wine will be bigger and better than ever. A record 75 days this year. We were also thrilled by the success of this year's inaugural Festival of the Arts, so we're hosting it again in early 2018. We also have news that extends beyond the berms of our parks this summer. Part of the unmatched appeal of our Disney parks is that when you visit, you can not only enjoy magical themed worlds within our destinations, you can stay in them as well. Our themed resort hotels are a big part of the reason families love us, and we are rejuvenating that relationship. We recently announced the expansion of Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. It will include a new 15-story tower, adding 500 rooms, featuring suites and concierge-level services. This new tower will overlook Lago Dorado, the resort's centerpiece lake, allowing guests to enjoy rooftop dining with panoramic views of our popular nighttime spectaculars. Simultaneously, we are reimagining the resort both inside and out. We're also reimagining Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, adding to its current marketplace, including new waterfront dining and retail shopping areas, and even more convenient access to services, amenities, and dining. And in our retail dining and entertainment district, Disney Springs, all of the neighborhoods have been open for some time now, but there's still much more on the horizon. This fall, an existing Italian restaurant will be recreated into a new concept, featuring a menu by James Beard Award winner and top chef master Tony Mantuano. This will be followed by the opening of The Edison, a lavish, industrial gothic style restaurant, bar, and nighttime destination. It will feature, feature exceptional classic American food, artisanal craft cocktails, and unparalleled live entertainment. Another new arrival early next year is Wine Bar George, which I hasten to say is not named after me. <laughs> it is actually owned and operated by Master Sommelier George Miliotis, and will be an experience not to be missed. And, in Disney Springs retail, the popular shop currently known as United World Soccer will be rebranded under the most famous name in sport as Pele Soccer. I have one more element to announce today. As you probably know, this beautiful theater is home to Beauty and the Beast live on stage. But beginning tomorrow, as part of our Walt Disney World blockbuster summer, it will also be home to a very special limited time concert event that will repeat three times nightly. The music of Pixar Live, a symphony of characters, is a celebration of the music, animation, and characters of Pixar films, including Toy Story, Up, Finding Nemo, Finding Dory, The Incredibles, and Cars. It will feature character moments and animated scenes on large video screens accompanied by this full orchestra next to me. It is a show chock full of special moments and humor that you would expect from our talented team at Pixar. To tell you more about this, we've invited a gentleman who first delighted you with his work on the original story, art, and animation for the feature film Toy Story. He is forever linked with Pixar, having contributed in multiple roles to Monsters, Inc., yes. Inside Out, Wally, A Bug's Life, and The Incredibles. He has created a nationwide set of Pixar concerts that have been extremely popular. We have now brought it to Walt Disney World with an entirely new twist. He's a two-time Academy Award winner, and while I know he will take me to task for calling him this, one of the icons of the industry. Here to tell you more about the music of Pixar Live, Symphony of Characters, please welcome Pete Doctor. Oh. 
Pleasure to be here. One thing I can tell you we never anticipated when we started working on Toy Story in 1992 was the ability to walk into these places the way they do here at Walt Disney World is just crazy. Uh, and it thrills me to be here. In fact, my family is off running around in the park right now while I'm here talking. Not that I'm jealous, but um, I am really looking forward to uh, Toy Story Land, which is opening very soon, uh, and uh, having a chance to walk into that world uh, is going to be fun. Until that happens, let's uh, say a few words about the reason why 50 talented musicians are sitting here on stage, and that is the music of Pixar Live, a symphony of characters. Uh, since the very first sound cartoon in 1928, uh, uh, it was uh, Steamboat Willie, Music has been an essential part of what animation does. And though we today use computers instead of pens and paint, uh, it is no less important for two reasons. One, even as you're sitting here today, it's impossible not to get a little tingle when that music starts to play. I mean, it's just there's something about music that allows you to feel and, and communicate emotions in ways that we can't just by speaking. So that's first. And second, it really does help us tell the stories. Um, the storytelling comes through in the music, and that was our primary focus in creating this program, was uh, allowing the music to kind of get a little bit of a, a forward uh, thrust here and to showcase the amazing stuff that our talented uh, collaborators, uh, like Michael Giacchino and Randy Newman, etc., uh, the amazing music that they've created for our films. Uh, so, uh, Without further ado, what we'd like to do is to give you a little sneak peek, a little preview of Pixar in concert, sorry, the music of Pixar Live, a symphony of, of characters, and uh, let's welcome back to the stage uh, the concert maestro uh, to give you a little sneak peek. Orchestra! 